experience. Hi YouTube, my name is Andre and I will try to help you to solve the problem with your EEPC. Uh, if you have the problem that it doesn't boot up anymore and the three lights uh, from the Wi-Fi, the battery and the hard disk continuously lit up, then I perhaps uh, can uh, give you the solution to fix this. It helps for me, so I hope it's also helping you. In your solo experience. Okay, let's start. Below you will find the description I've made for you, uh, what you are going to do. Uh, you will also find below a link from a forum uh, which describes step by step how to open your AEE PC. So please take care that you read the below description before you start. Okay, thanks. And later on you will also find a video what I made for you uh, which gives you a better view how I did it. Okay, good luck. In your solo experience. Hi everyone. Uh, if you also encounter the black screen problem with the EEPC 900 or other EEPCs, um, just do the following. I tried uh, to uh, reset it with uh, the power button, but unfortunately it uh, doesn't work. So uh, in all forums I checked and they said I, uh, you should uh, remove uh, the CMOS battery and unfortunately the other things doesn't work with uh, the reset button removing battery etc etc no it doesn't work with me so i assume this is also not working from your side so uh, i thought uh, let's open the uh, pc and remove the cmos battery however other forum says the, uh, that you have to remove and cut the cable etc etc i don't like it to cut uh, a cable for my EE PC, so I just opened my uh, laptop. As you can see, remove all the things. Uh, this little this link uh, to how to open it, it's also f uh, yeah findable at uh, at at, uh, at forums. However, the main thing is that uh, to remove the CMOS up, up uh, 20 seconds, there's a better solution then uh, disattach the whole motherboard as you can see at the right below I will point it out at this moment this thing is plugged with the CMOS battery so I don't know if you can see it however it's a white plug which connects with the motherboard so please uh, just use two fingers to remove it from the motherboard Result, I will use my two hands. Okay, it's now disattached. I don't know if you can see it. Now, anyway, it's detached. And there's also a note on the motherboard, bad. I assume that's from battery. So, just wait 20 seconds. And please attach it again. So it's more than 20 seconds, I think. I don't know that, but we will try it again. Okay, I will put you on pause. Please hold. Yes, I'm back. So just attach it again to the motorboard. Yes, done. Okay, let's see if it works. I already uh, attached the battery meanwhile so let's see what's there okay now one light is burning instead of three and yes okay because uh, the keyboard and other stuff is not attached and therefore the computer starts finally yes and I think I will um, put all of those things back and I hope this helps and uh, yeah, it starts. So that's the important thing. In your solo experience. Well, I hope this solution helps for you also. Uh, in my case, it helped and I fixed the EEPC. Yeah, but uh, okay, if you have any questions about it, please do not hesitate to ask it and leave a description 
or your question below. Okay, bye bye, cheers. In your solo experience. On the Wi Fi, the hard disk, and uh, what was the other again? Perhaps I can help you to solve this problem. Yeah, okay, take three. The three lights continue uh, to less up. Uh, no, okay. Good afternoon. No, take five. And the hard disk continues to lift up. Then I can help you. Yeah, I can help you. I can help you. Really?